title, The Weaving of Winds, by Wisdom Chronicles. In a time when the world was younger, yet ancient in its ways, there was a village cradled in the arms of a verdant valley. This village, untouched by the clamour of distant cities, thrived in the womb of simplicity. Its cobblestone streets, like meandering streams, wound between cottages with roofs thatched as neatly as the nests of diligent birds. Each morning, as dawn broke, a misty fog caressed the meadows, draping the world in a veil of silent mystery. In this village, where the hammer of the blacksmith kept time with the heartbeat of the earth and the scent of fresh bread mingled with the earthy perfume of hay, people lived in the rhythm of an unspoken song. They wore garments of wool, dyed in hues borrowed from the dusk and the dawn, and their lives were woven into the tapestry of the feudal system, as threads are bound to the loom. The well in the centre of the village, where cool water mirrored the open sky, was more than a source of sustenance. It was a place of convergence, where destinies intertwined, and stories flowed as freely as the water that quenched their thirst. It was here that the villagers would gather, their voices weaving a rich tapestry of folklore as they shared the bounty and burdens of their days. But into this tapestry of tradition and routine, a strand of the unfamiliar was woven. A traveller, cloaked in the mystery of distant lands, arrived, his presence in the village like a breeze that stirs the still waters of a pond. He brought with him tales that danced on the edges of imagination and trinkets that gleamed with the light of unseen suns. His words, imbued with the fragrance of far-off places, planted seeds of wonder in the hearts of the villagers, especially the youth, who gazed upon him with eyes wide as moonlit lakes. Among these young souls was Eliana, a maiden whose spirit was as untamed as the wind that danced through the valley. Her heart, filled with dreams and whispers of distant horizons, found a kinship in the traveller's stories. Each word he spoke was like a star falling into the lake of her thoughts, rippling through her being. As the seasons painted the village in myriad colours, from the pristine white of winter to the golden hues of autumn, Eliana's yearning grew. She found solace in the forests that bordered the village, where deer roamed and wild boars foraged, and the wildflowers nodded in silent understanding of her dreams. The traveller, sensing the restless spirit of Eliana, shared with her a tale that had been passed down through generations as ancient as the stars themselves. It was a story of a great weaving, where each life was a thread, each moment a knot, and each dream a colour. He spoke of how every thread contributed to the grand design, yet how each was free to weave its own path. But remember, he whispered, the strength of the tapestry lies in its threads being together. Alone, a thread is vulnerable, but woven with others, it creates a story that can withstand the ravages of time. As winter approached, an unusual chill settled over the village. The cold seeped into the bones of the earth, and the villagers huddled closer by their firesides, sharing tales to ward off the creeping frost. It was a winter that tested the mettle of their spirits, as the harshness lingered longer than memory could recall. Eliana, watching the frost weave its intricate patterns on the window panes, pondered the traveller's words. She realised that her dreams, vibrant and wild, were but threads in the larger tapestry of her village. Her longing for the unknown was a part of a greater longing shared by her community. A longing for warmth in the cold, for light in the darkness, and for growth amidst adversity. As spring finally melted the cloak of winter, Eliana's perspective had shifted, like the sun's rays changing angles with the seasons. She understood that her dreams did not require her to leave the village. Rather, they could bloom where she stood. She began to weave her story into the lives of those around her, teaching the children the tales of the traveller, helping to till the fields with a renewed sense of purpose and bringing laughter and song to the evenings by the fireside. The village, too, transformed with Eliana's change. The people, 
inspired by her enthusiasm and the tales of the traveller, began to embrace the new while honouring the old. The well became not just a place of gathering, but a symbol of their shared destiny and dreams. Years passed, and the traveller, now an old man, returned to the village. He found it vibrant, a tapestry rich with the colours of new ideas and the strength of tradition. In Eliana's eyes, he saw not the restless yearning of yesteryears, but the serene light of dreams realised and shared. As he took his leave, the traveller whispered to the wind, Here, in this village, the weaving of winds has created a masterpiece, where each thread has found its purpose, and every colour its place. And the village, nestled in the arms of the valley, continued to thrive, its story woven into the tapestry of time, a testament to the enduring dance of tradition and change.